Hey there guys, my name is Bradronilin and today I have a cup of tea and a dream and that dream is Evo boosted Pancham with Power Trip. Now if you don't know what Power Trip does, it's basically a physical stored power. Crocodile learns it in the new gen, it can breed with the likes of Mankey, uh, Pancham and there's something else that escapes me now but with Evo boost Power Trip gains 200 base power to become 220 base power. Now because Obviously, Pancham is only a fighting type. It doesn't get the stab on top. But we do get to use the Eevee Light. We do get to have a bit of fun because he's just such a cute Pokemon. And he can just smack the living daylights out of whatever we come against. So, I've got a pretty standard team. I'm not going to run over it now just because it, it wastes a lot of time. But I'm going to cut to a battle in just a sec. And hopefully, we can come out on top. ba da ba 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 da da Fair enough. Oh, that team looks really fun. He's got a level 38 Pikachu that he's obviously not going to bring, but he has the Lunala, the Soul Galio, Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco, and Primarina. So, obviously, I'm going to bring the Pancham in the back. I am bringing Eevee and Clefairy. I'm bringing Pancham. The question is what support mon do I want? And do I want Trick Room? Uh, I feel like I want Lilligant for the Sleep Powder. No, because he has Tapu Fini. Uh, I'm going to have to just go with Oranguru. Try and get Trick Room. This actually might be the uh, the test, you know? If, <laughs> if this is any good. Because this is a really tough team. I can see myself not winning this, but, you know. If you shoot yourself in the foot before you even tried, then you're going to lose anyway. So... Good luck to this guy. Good luck to me more than anything because this team looks stacked. His team is very scary. Lunala and Primarina coming out. Lunala in the uh, the moon ball. Oh, and I just got that tasty frame drop. That wasn't even my capture. That was from the game. <laughs> okay, so if he knows what he's doing, he's going to double into my uh, my Eevee here. So pretty much have no choice. I just have to Eva boost and try and get out of here. But I can follow me. No reason to set up the Reflect because they are both special attackers. Let's see if I can get knocked into my Citrus and maybe tank the next move. And then I can probably go for the Protect or just the Follow Me again to soak up the next move on turn 2. But my opponent is taking his time to think. I go for the Follow Me. Because my EV isn't EV'd properly. It has EVs in attack. He goes for the Z move. The Water Z move by the looks of it. Oh, what is that? What was that? I don't know what Z move that was. Oh, the flying type. Okay. That's interesting. Flying yum Z. Coming for that Clefairy. It's not stab. That does. Yeah. Doesn't even knock me into my uh, my citrus berry there, which means this shouldn't take me out either. Don't think my opponent's very experienced because he just used two non stab moves and my Clefairy is still decent health. I'm going for the Z move on my own. The longest animation in the game. Good old Evo boost. Actually, I think um, Pulverizing Pancake might be longer. Not that I'm complaining. I think it's a cool animation. The Evo boost, that is. They all are. Fuck it. They all, they're all cool. I just wish there was like a, a faster version online. Having to sit through it every single time. Kind of run out of things to say after a while. <laughs> Give me your energy. Alright, so I pretty much got my Eva boost off for free. Clefairy not taking too much damage. And then I can just follow me again and get Pancham in. So, going pretty well. It's going pretty, pretty, pretty. We're kind of stuck there. Okay, there we go. So, make sure I click the Tom Pass. Because I've, I've clicked Quick Attack before and just embarrassed myself. Um, Yeah, I'll just go for the follow me anyway. Because if I get knocked out here, then I can switch into Oranguru and just instruct and hopefully take everything out. Or set up the Trick Room first. Because he's likely to go into my Pancham, which means I can get a free Trick Room off. Or at least that's like the highest percentage play, you know. That's like the... That's the play you should make, sort of uh, sort of thing. 
Make sure I don't go into Oranguru. <laughs> Alright, Pancham has been clicked. It's inside. Pancham! <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> He's so small! He used fly, oh. Wait, Bubble Beam? That's not even gonna kill, is it? Okay, so Lunala's faster, so I can just get a, uh... I can get a follow me off, and I can... I guess return into the thingy slot? Return into the Primarina slot. And follow me again to take up the fly, and then I can get Oranguru in on the next turn. I was wondering what flying move he even had for uh, the Z move, but <laughs> he has fly, so... I avoided it! What? I should have just used power trip now that I think about it. That's not even going to kill. Oh, wow, well, I meant that. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I think I misplayed. Oh. Why didn't I think of that? See, this is why you don't go, like, ages without playing. Because I didn't even think about him being back on the ground for me to hit with Pancham. So, this next turn is going to be pretty interesting. But I can get a free Trick Room off. Oh, it's not free, but... Oh, yeah, it is free, because I can just use Protect. Protect with Pancham and Trick Room. That's not too bad, though. But <laughs> at least he knows the power of Pancham. Non-stab 100 base move did almost an Oko to Primarina. And now my frames are dropping again. Whew. Pancham used Protect... Oh, my God, what is going on? Please don't mess up on me when I'm trying to record. The Battle of the Century Sparkling Aria. Boom. I actually did a decent amount. But he has two water moves and psychic. And I guess a fairy move. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so now I can power trip and then... Wait, so... Oranguru is slower. It's five slower. So, what can I go for? Do I go for the protect? I don't know. I think I'm overthinking it now because I'm on, like, the wrong pace. I'm on the wrong pace of turns. I should have been able to attack Lunala before, but I messed it up. So now I've got to wait for, um, thing to be on the ground. That Psychic did no damage. Hopefully he doesn't fly into my Pancham as well. That would actually be pretty bad. Actually, no, it wouldn't be too bad. Similar base power. Oh, he did. Whoa, that did 30 damage. <laughs> See, this is why Evo Boost and Eevee Light is just so stupid. <laughs> that did 30 damage. I can see this guy just leaving the game. There's no damage. Let's see if he brought the Solgaleo. Oh, he brought Tapu Fini. Hmm. Misty Surge kind of just helps me out, though, so I don't get statused. So I'm fine with that. Glad I didn't actually bring the Lilligant now. So because I used Return, I can instruct the Pancham. And then I should be able to in, uh, return into the Tapu Fini slot and then power trip into the Lunala slot. So let's see if that actually does happen here. That would be a really cool way to, uh, to start wrapping up this battle. We use return. Is it in the same slot? Yes, it is. Doesn't do as much as I'd want it to do, but please, please just knock this out. I love power trip. <laughs> Goodbye. Shadow shield. What is a shadow shield? He just tried to fling. Uh, I've still got an item, friend. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, he's got the Tapu Koko. Electrical surge coming out now. Mm, interesting. Interesting. So should I just go for... The same thing, but in reverse, so... Wait. That was Protect. I clicked Protect by accident, lol. 
Return the Tapu Fini and instruct the Pancham to hit the Tapu Koko with a power trip. It resists it, but Tapu Koko is quite squishy, so I still might be able to take it out, which would be pretty damn cool. Oh, that <laughs> it wasn't going fast enough. I had faith. Oh, yeah. Panchan's putting in the work right now. This isn't going to do any damage. Oh, I thought I was a crit. I got scared for a second. <laughs> now we can just return and instruct. Wait, Trick Room's still up, right? Yeah, one more turn of Trick Room, so... Just go for Psychic, just for the BM. I forfeited a the Evia Light Pancham with the Evo Boost. Honestly, try this out because that was so funny. Like, I know I misplayed it a little bit, and my opponent didn't have maybe the most optimum move sets or Pokemon because he just brought like a bunch of legendaries and a Pikachu. But very, very fun. I enjoyed it. So I'll leave a team in the like in a push. In the description, I won't leave in a pace bin. Pace bins are too public. And, you know, I'm scared of people ripping off of my genius. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I'll also be streaming later today. I won't use this team against people because, you know, don't want to beat you too hard. But, yeah, check all of that out. Check the description, all of my links and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. And maybe I will see you again soon.